Hi, and welcome to Quiltmas Day. I'm so glad you're here, and I hope you enjoy today's video. My Missouri Star box opening and honest reaction is at the end of the video, so stick around to find out what I really think. And now, on with the show. I know some of you are completely ready for the holidays. All of your gifts are beautifully wrapped, even shipped on time, and I bet you didn't even have to stand in line at the post. You are amazing. I also know some of you are skidding into home and will be binding those last stitches using a headlamp for light while you're on the way to the recipient's house. Whether you're super prepared or flying by the seat of your pants, and I've been both of those people, Sometimes we all need a last minute gift. Maybe a hostess gift or that teacher's aid you forgot about but certainly don't want to forget. After all, they really do work hard. Whatever the circumstance, sometimes we all need a little remembrance gift on the fly. I've gathered a mini trunk show of ideas, things I've made and things I've given things I've received, and just some cute ideas. Everything is relatively quick to make and easy to find, a downloadable pattern, a tutorial, a library book, plus I've got a few kit type ideas that are often available at the big box stores. And since we're all in a hurry this time of year, let's just get on with it. Lots of you have asked about the mason jars behind me, and now I'll tell you. Mason jar cozies. These are cute and useful and they will keep your hand warm and your drink cool. It will also fit on a pint of Ben and Jerry's if you know you need to know that sort of thing. But this is a tutorial and pattern from Nikki over at Pen Cut Sew and these little suckers are quick to make. Like seriously, I made all of those and all of these waiting to be finished in the past 24 hours. I'll finish them after I edit and post this video. These are swap gifts for my Modern Guild and for my Sweet Quilting Bee Ladies. I made mine with just mason straw jars that I found online, but there are lots of ways to use and or gift these and Nikki has some great ideas, so be sure and check out her video. Sticking with variations on a theme, a mason jar with a pincushion lid. You know, you make the little pin cushion for the top of the jar, fill it with whatever you want. Binding supplies, a mending kit, clips, chocolates. I keep mine filled with bent safety pins for basting. Another useful gift to make and give is a dish drying mat. I don't have one to show as I've given them all away, but it's the same process I used for the burp cloths video. I'll link that in the cards and down below. Just double up the batting. Make it whatever size is convenient for you. If you're feeling really fancy or if you have more time, you can use a thrifted terry cloth towel for the backing and that will make it extra cushy and absorbent. From one of my bee friends, I received this beautiful teacup pin cushion. Now these were, I believe, Bonnie's mother, these were inherited teacups from her collection. Anna was so enamored and inspired by these that they chose to make several to give as gifts this year. Oh, that one's not attached yet. <laughs> we had so much fun thrifting all the little teacups and mugs for the pin cushion base in these. Anna used wool dryer balls, new ones, which I think is genius. She covered them with fabric, but if you are fiber arts inclined, you can also needle felt designs directly into the wool ball. Or like I say, like Anna did, cover it with fabric, pretty fabric, and embellish it. Last year, I used patterns from borrowed books. Borrowed from the library, but ask your friends. And I made these little guys. Little birdie ornaments and little bee pin cushions. The birds are from the book Last Minute Patchwork and Quilted Gifts by Joelle Hoverson. It's an older book. It's been around for a long time. And the bees were made from the book Sewing by Heart by Tony Finnegar. 
Finninger, Finninger, Tilda. <laughs> the bees were made from the book Sewing by Heart. These are so easy to make from your scraps, and they're also easy to make in quantity if you need lots of little things. They make cute gift tie-ons, and you can add a magnet inside the little bee, and then he'll stick to your sewing machine as a tiny pincushion. Another ornament that I received from one of my one of my quilt bee friends. I have a great quilt bee, guys. Is this little is this little folded star ornament? These are absolutely precious. I'll link several tutorials down below. They're all over the place. You can make them with paper, you can make them with fabric. Add a hanger is a great ornament. Also another great package tie. Some more things I've received. If you machine embroider, I don't, but look at these cute things that I've gotten. A melted snowman mug rug. And this little snowman pot holder, trivet, mug rug, what have you. Also, these beautiful freestanding lace ornaments. I know there are many, many machine embroidery quilted items to make in the hoop, things that make up quickly. That's just not my world, so I can only show and share these cute items that I've been gifted. I want to talk just a minute about these June Taylor Quilt As You Go kits. These are great. I have no finished items to show you as everything I've made, I've given away, but I buy these on sale. They're often available at Joann's, but they're also available online from Fat Quarter Shop and other retailers. But I keep these on hand because they make awesome, quick gifts. What it is, is the pattern and instructions, and it's a pre-printed piece of batting or stabilizer. And you quilt as you go, sew and flip style, and then assemble it into the finished item. It's kind of like sew by number. It's exactly sew by number. You add whatever fabrics you like, and then just follow the instructions, and boom. Perfect, easy gift to give or keep. They have mug rugs, and there's a printed piece in here with cute little sayings on it. They have placemat. Where's the camera? They have placemats. And bottle covers, water bottle carriers. This one is grocery shopper totes. They even have tree skirts, stockings, quilts. They've got a placemat for your cat or your dog. Fat Quarter Shop did an amazing live stream about these a few years ago, and I've been hooked ever since. I'll link the live stream both below and in the cards, and I'll link a few places, like I say, that you can buy them. I buy them on sale and keep them on hand. They're an easy go-to project. They're quick, and they're really nice especially if you've like lost your sewing inspiration you can pull this out and all the thinking is done for you you just cut and sew and go okay there are my few quick and easy to sew last minute projects or pre-planned for your gift closet for all those times when you need a gift on the fly hang around for day seven box opening and i'll be right back to see us out All right, Advent Box, day seven. Feels like fabric again, feels like charms. It is Kona Solid Charms. And it's, okay, it's just three colors. And this must go with a project. It's red and pink and aqua. Kona Charms. day seven. Thanks for hanging out with me on day seven. I do hope you make a mason jar cozy because it's just cheerful. In the comments, let me know what your go-to small remembrance gift is. I am always adding to my list and looking for new things. Before you go, remember to click all those buttons and always remember that you make the world more beautiful just by being in it. I'm Amy. And I'll see you next time.